I have your roundup of all the big Google news today. Parachutes not required. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. It's time to say hello to the Kindle Fire's greatest nemesis, Google's 7-inch Galaxy Nexus tablet called the Nexus 7. It's a much more powerful tablet than the Kindle Fire and the Barnes & Noble Nook, and you can get it for the low price of 200 bucks. The Nexus will have the latest 4.1 Jelly Bean Android operating system. It'll have a quad-core processor, and it's got a front-facing camera, because really, how often would you use a back camera on a tablet? But you got to have more than just hardware to compete with the Kindle. So Google also unveiled new features in its entertainment hub, Google Play. Now you can purchase movies and television shows and you can get magazine issues or subscriptions. The Nexus 7 is taking pre-orders now in the Google Play Store and it'll ship in mid-July. But don't expect Amazon to just sit back and take this quietly. In the next month, we could see the Amazon Fire drop its price and some reports say a new Kindle Fire 2 will come out at the end of July and it too could have a camera. So Back to the new Android 4.1 Jelly Bean system. It'll be faster with improved notifications and widgets. There's also something called Google Now. It gives advice for your life based on your location, calendar, and your habits. If you have an appointment on your calendar, it'll tell you when to leave your house based on the route, traffic, and mode of transportation you usually take. It even updates you on your favorite sports teams without you telling it what your favorite sports teams are. It just knows what they are based on what you usually search for. Kind of weird, right? Siri got a bit of a slap too. Ask your phone a question. It'll pull up the results very fast and speak the answer back to you. Google also is coming out with a home theater device to take on Apple TV. It's a sphere called the Nexus Q and it taps into the content stored in your Google Play Cloud. So it can stream the audio and the video you own to your home theater and your friends can also play the DJ and pull in songs from their accounts. It's a bit more pricey than you might expect. It's $300 and it also ships in mid-July. And if you were curious about Google's Project Glass, well, the camera-enabled headset stole the show. Stuntmen wearing the glasses live-streamed a Google Hangout video while skydiving into the roof of the event and stunt bikers zoomed across the roof and some rappelled down the side of a building. All of this to show how a wearable computer can add some new perspectives. It's still a prototype, but people at the event could sign up to be the first to pre-order them for $1,500 to help shape the development of the eyewear. The first versions will ship next year. That's your tech news update for today. For more on the stories in today's show, you can visit CNET.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.